Okay, so uh, we're continuing. This is a part of a series uh, looking at the 2018 Capture the Flag by Google. Uh, this was brought to my attention by uh, uh, two YouTubers that I have really no affiliation with other than I subscribe to them, uh, Live Overflow and uh, John Hammond. And John Hammond, I just recently started watching. I've only watched a handful of his videos, but they're very good. Check him out. Uh, I did comment on one of his videos, and uh, he replied to the comment and let me know that he actually uh, has learned a lot from my videos. So that's great that he's a viewer of mine, and I'm a viewer of his, and the world goes around. Okay. Uh, also, uh, if you go to gitlab.com forward slash metalx1000 forward slash capital CTF, uh, you can download my uh, project here which has all the scripts that I'm showing in here that automate uh, all the uh, capture flags that I'm going through for this year. Today we're looking at media-db, media database, and here's the syn synopsis. Synopsis, synopsis, yeah, the description. Uh, the Gatekeeper software gives you access to a custom database to organize a music playlist. It looks like it might also be connected to the smart fridge you to play custom door alarms. Uh, maybe we can grab the OR auth token that gets us closer to cake. Here we have a netcat command to connect to a server like we had in the previous one. And when I originally did this one, I was stumped for a little bit and then I realized there was also an attachment. So we want to use this to connect to the server, uh, but you also want to download the attachment. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, I will copy that. And first thing we'll first, we'll just look at the server. I'll use netcat and I will paste in that server port leet. And here's our database. I can press one, type in, you know, Bob for the artist name, song, Bob song, enter. And now if I hit two, I can play an artist, Bob, and it says that, you know, Bob song by Bob. We can also play a song. Let's see what happens if I just type Bob. Um, yeah, it doesn't come up. I probably have to type the full name. And then four will shuffle through your artists. So let me just, just for fun, add another one. Tom, uh, and we'll, oh, it didn't ask me for a song title. Oh, I added, what did I add? I added, oh, an artist. Uh, and we'll add a song, whatever. Tom, I'm just adding things in there to show you. Um, song. Ah. Great. Uh, and if we say add a song, oops, let's reconnect. We got this connected, timed out. One, I can say Bob's song. What's the song name? Oh, that was the title of the name. Anyway, we'll say top Bob song again. Hit enter. Now if I hit four, boom, we crash the program. Okay. So uh, what caused that? We'll look into this a little bit more. So let me go ahead and run my script in here, uh, media underscore db dot sh. And here I kind of walk you through it. We download the zip, the zip uh, archive, extract it. Inside that is a Python code. So we have the Python code. Hit enter to continue. Uh, so this is just my script kind of walking you through it. Looks like we're working with uh, SQL. Uh, we have two tables, media and OAuth tokens. We can see that OAuth tokens has the flag because we see this. We'll look at the entire Python script here in a moment, uh, but we have these lines here showing that there's a table here, a table here, and then you can see uh, we can insert into this table. We can see flag, so it just kind of tells us that this table contains our flag. Go ahead and hit enter. Uh, so uh, we can see that uh, we're adding things into the database, uh, or at least we're, we're retrieving things from the database, reading things from the database, they used single quotes here. And that's why when we said Bob's song, because we used the apostrophe, which is the same as a single quote, it messes this up. And so uh, the next thing my script does, just as an example, let's try injecting some random stuff. We'll add a song and put this as the artist with the exclamation or single quote there and whatever we want for the song title. Then uh, tell it to play a random song with option four. So we do that and boom, it crashes the program because with that single quote, it's thinking it's looking for a new SQL command and this is not a SQL command, so it crashes. So looks across the menu, that's good. Uh, so now let's try some SQL injection. 
uh, we will combine the original request with a request for, I spelled everything wrong, in the OR auth table. Uh, so originally, the original thing I tried, because I've only done a little bit of playing around with SQL injection in the past, is I tried doing uh, the single quote, select, I said, I said select all from OAuth tokens, and that didn't work. What we need to use is the union command, which combines the two commands. So uh, from my understanding, it's taking uh, this command that I'm adding and combining it with the original one so that it doesn't, so it continues through. Uh, so when we hit enter there, you can see that it dumps this as an artist name and, or song name and a title. And they say, there we go. And then I trim it down. That is our token. So real quick, let's look at the um, Python code here. So we can see that we're running, it's a Python code. So this is basically, this is the program that's running on the server. And the fact that we were able to get a copy of this uh, allows us to see what's going on. So we're using SQLite, or SQLite if you want to say it like that, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be SQLite. Uh, three, which is uh, basically, you know, it's a database usually in a single file, uh, unlike um, uh, MySQL, uh, which runs as a server normally. This you'll have, we're basically we're connecting to a folder in the server and there is a uh, file on there. Anyway, it doesn't really matter for what we're talking about. You know, here's our main menu. Again, we can see that we're connecting to uh, you know, I guess a memory, uh, a database that's running in memory. Uh, that's not really important. Again, these are the lines that were important right here. Again, uh, when you're doing these, um, you know, capture the flags, I'm looking for keywords, CTF and flag. So, you know, when I first opened this, this caught my eye right here. Uh, also anything that says OAuth. So again, we can see that we have two tables uh, and that we are that this one, the OAuth tokens, has the flag. And again, and when we look through this, we can see that when we're selecting, means that we're reading something from the database. Uh, so we're selecting artist, song from uh, the media table where artist equals something. And that's where we're injecting something new. Uh, we're saying to, well, actually we're using this random one down here, uh, but still, still using single quotes. And basically, again, we're putting that single quote, that uh, um, quotation mark, not that single quote uh, apostrophe. Um, basically, let me come down here. Let's see. So basically, when we're doing a request, if we request something like this, it's seeing this and saying, oh, we're looking for a new command here. It's We're finishing this and starting this. Putting something random in there like that will crash it. But if we put in our code with the union and selecting all from the OAuth, it's going to run that. And that's how we get our output. And that's pretty much it. Again, you can look through my uh, shell script here, which automates and kind of walks you through the process. <clears throat> Again, here it starts off by removing the Python code if it already exists. Uh, but I leave it in there at the end so you can look through it. Uh, we're going to wget this zip file, unzip it, remove the original zip file just to clean things up. Then I just, you know, basically I walk you through all this is just output to let you know what's going on. And then here's a command. We're echoing all this, which is basically saying select option one, insert this as the artist name, insert this as the song name, and then press forward to randomly play that. And we're saying all that to this server. Uh, and that obviously again crashes the Python script. Uh, next, we come down here and we do the same thing, uh, but this time instead of putting in random gibberish, we're, si we're running our SQL injection command, which is this right here, saying the same thing to that server. Uh, and then I do that same exact thing again, but here at the end, I then grep for CTF, uh, tail one to grab the last uh, instance of that, and then I use the cut command to get just our flag, and that's how at the end of the script, it gives you the proper flag you can copy and paste into the Google website. And that is it.
Uh, I hope you're enjoying this series. Please visit my website, which is filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. There you can search through all my videos. You can also go to the support section if you want to support me through Patreon or PayPal. There's also a Patreon link in the description of this video. Uh, if you can't do that, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I do thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.